is Travis Goss. Thank you for listening to the speech I'm going to present for you today. And my speech is going to be on Hunter S. Thompson. And we're going to go all that and start off with this little video I've got right here. San Francisco in the mid-60s, and this was known as Wave Speech from the building in Las Vegas. This was popular in and most of them. I want to take you on a journey into the life of Hunter and career of Hunter S. Thompson. It is important to learn about Thompson because his writing style has been an influence of his fans and other writers and journalists. I will share with you Thompson's beginnings as a journalist. His most popular book, Fear and Loathing Las Vegas, and his death. So let's begin with talking about where and when Thompson started his career. The start of Thompson's career as a journalist. In 1957, Thompson started as a sports editor during his time at Elgin, excuse me, Eglin Air Force Base in Florida after he was forced to enlist by a judge in his hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. It was in 1962 where Thompson began using drugs that consequently influenced his writing style years later. According to Warren Hinkle's article, Hunter S. Thompson, published in Nation on March 21, 2005, Thompson created Gonzo Journalism, his journalistic signature of putting himself as part of a story told in a first-person perspective after submitting various pages from his notebook where he was covering the 1970 Kentucky Derby. Now that I've shared with you how Hunter got started and how Gonzo journalism began, let's take a look at Thompson's most famous publishing, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. His most famous book started out as an assignment to write articles for Rolling Stone Magazine and Sports Illustrated. According to an article by Mikhail Gilmore entitled The Last Outlaw, published in Rolling Stone in 2005, Thompson did not write the articles because he was running all over Las Vegas with his friend Oscar Zeta Acosta while on heavy amounts of drugs. And the book turned out to be more about the death of the American dream, and it's also a very good movie. Now that I've shared with you about his book, excuse me, now that I've shared with you about what his book was all about, we must now shift our focus to a sudden death. On February 20th, 2005, Thompson was found dead in his Colorado home with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. According to Johnny, Depp, Johnny Depp's article, co-written with Stern Marlowe for a news we called My Explosive Cow Hunter S. Thompson, and published in 2011, he explains what it was like to be friends with Thompson. He will, also be, he will also best be remembered for his various quotes that echoes his personality and style of writing. Now it's time to wrap up our time with Hunter S. Thompson. I have taken you on a journey into his life and career. In his speech, I have shared with you Thompson's beginnings as journalist, his most popular book, Fear and in Las Vegas, and his death. Hunter's most memorable quote best sums up his life and career. When the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. Thank you very much.